What is your petish and how did it go wrong when trying it? Ex-boyfriend liked me to deep throat. I was giving him a BJ. He suddenly grabbed my head and thrust and held my head. I threw up. Not fun. I developed a petish of being bitten from an old fling. So when one of my friends jokingly bit me to scare me I instinctively released a moan, sharp breath kind of thing and it was very awkward for a bit. Useless edit. I also enjoy biting now. In sexual contexts of course. Then I forget not everyone likes that. Not me. But my friend. They had a big handcuff pettish. My friend handcuffed her hands behind her. And started the six. He had the bright idea to also cuff his own hands behind his back. I had to retrieve the keys that were on the top shelf of their closet. They refused to tell me how long they waited to call me. I like electro play. With a violet wand or similar setup you have to hold a small rod that turns you into a conductor. From there anyone that touches you or any metal that grazes you will spark at different levels. The bench I decided to try this on happened to have a large metal bar reinforcing it inside the cushion and backing. I touched the rod and got shocked hard from my asshole all the way up my back to the neck. My fiancé likes being choked lightly. One of the first times she told me to do this we were having crazy rough six and I ended up making her pass out. Once her eyes were closed I stopped choking her obviously and wasn't sure if she was actually passed out or if she was playing a joke on me so I kept going. Once she opened her eyes a few seconds later she was back in the game so to speak and didn't ask any questions. I felt bad and couldn't finish and I haven't really choked her since. Nylons don't feel as smooth against your pecker as you think it does. Bare feet would have felt nicer but I'm a sucker for nylons. Edit. We're going with the good expensive stuff next time. Told my GF at the time that I'm into cross-dressing. She cried for hours and asked if I wanted to cut my dick off. Physical domination. It's great on paper. But good god does it tire you out fast. I apparently need a lot more cardio. Was on top 69ing with my girlfriend. She squirted really hard. Awesome right. Unfortunately. The angle we were at shot it directly up my nostrils. Pressure washing my sinuses. That frocking hurt. I recoiled. Sneezed a bunch. But we got back at it. I love her so much. Deep. Romantic cream pie. Motherhood. I've always wanted to come on a girl's face. Not a very weird pettish but whatever. So my ex let me try it on her. I came straight into her eye on accident and that was the last time we tried that. My husband wanted to frock me in front of a mirror so I could watch him pound me. He was being dominant and moved me to the mirror. We ugly. So. Ugly. Update. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. I feel like a pug with a regal crown. Been meaning to write this as a full TIFU, but the short story is my GF tied me up and put a vibrator in my ass while sucking me off. Then turned me over and told me to push it out. It wasn't budging so I pushed super hard and it flew about 2 meters across the room. Even though I had cleaned my ass. It was followed by a good spurt of liquidy sit mixed with lube that went all over my GFS leg. Being slapped. Had my BF slap me and I screamed. Ow. He's refused to slap me again. I hope this doesn't awaken anything in me. Words to live by. Pierced my frenulum. The flap of skin that connects the head of the penis to the foreskin. As it was rumored to enhance sexual pleasure for both people. I was supposed to wait six months before having six for it to properly heal. Two weeks into the healing process I get crazy thorny and decide to go for it. Long story short I popped my banjo string inside my then GF. Blood everywhere. Freak out. Hospital visit. Permanently torn frenulum. I now have a little bit of skin sticking the head of my penis. The best, worst part of this whole ordeal is having to explain to my mom why I needed to go to the hospital at 3. 00 AM. I like being tied up. I am also very good at untying knots. I am now one of the world's most annoying subs and judge people heavily on their knot skills. Well, I thought frocking a gummy bear sounded like a good idea. The lack of preparation kind of ruined it though. I had a girlfriend who was big into facials. Absolutely loved cum on her face. I wasn't super into it at first. But her reaction was so hot I got very into it. Fast forward to the next girlfriend and I ask if we can try it and she agrees. Not the same effect. She looked like this. When you and your so are semi into BDSM it's a delicate balancing act. Cause you both like to be choked. And you both like to choke. Obligatory edit. 
My most upvoted comment is now about one of my kinks. Never change. Reddit. In high school I had my boyfriend give me a facial. Turns out I'm slightly allergic to spunk, and my face got bright red and a bit inflamed for the rest of the day. Got the nickname Rosacea for a couple weeks. But it was all in good fun. Anal. Got pooped on. Still like anal. What about you? You, I eat children. Not mine but my wife's. She basically told me that she likes being woken up to six. It wasn't really my thing but I'm always open to new ideas in bed. Anyway. I wait until she's sound asleep and I start to get inside of her. Cue her waking up startled. Smacking me across the face and pushing me off the bed. I have never seen her apologize so much in the 7 plus years we've been together. Fisting. She had a very pungent smell that leached into my skin. No amount of hand sanitizer and soap could get the smell out. My hand stunk like musty angina for about 3 days afterwards. Buying panties from strangers off reddit. I have lost money from it on 2 occasions. I paid and never got them. Edit. I appreciate the offers. XD if y'all are serious about this let me know. I can't buy anything right now. Though. I'm still broke from the holidays. Edit 2. I have gotten an unreasonable amount of replies offering panties. There's no way I'll be able to buy from you all. I don't feel right take a free pair either. That just feels odd to me for some reason. Also. I'm not interested in panties or underwear from men. Only women. Edit 3. Success. I have acquired panties. Equals D. I thought it would be hot if I let my friend bang my girlfriend while I watched for a little bit. It was not. Edit. Holy crap my first rip inbox ever. I should mention that this was a while ago. When I was still young and stupid. I learned my lesson and will never let it happen again. Early into my relationship me and my girlfriend started experimenting with food. For some reason. We came up with the idea for there to be a cinnamon roll wrapped around my dick while she gave me a blowthrob and for her to eat it during. For some reason. We heated it up to make it easier to slip on but it was too hot. I kept trying to push it on but it was burning me. I eventually ignored the pain and pushed it down forcefully. For some reason. It burned like hell and I yelled out in a pain tone. I'm ready. My girlfriend couldn't stop laughing. I angrily pulled it off and threw it back on the plate. My pee pee hurt like hell. Terrible experience. Edit. Thanks for the gold hippie. Stares at OP's username. Backs away slowly. Anal beads. I have IBS. Went to a bikaki party. As something I had seen plenty of scenes of, walking into a room of BBCs is terrifying. Pee pettish. Got lot of pee in my mouth. That's not my pettish. Edit. Jeez man my top comment is about getting pee in my mouth. Pregnant woman. My wife got pregnant and I was super stoked for all the hot pregnant six. Turns out being pregnant and breastfeeding was the world's biggest turn off for my wife. I got to look but not touch. I had virtually no six for three, five years. Edit. For those of you who missed it in the original comment, my wife breastfed for almost three years. For that entire time she was simply not interested in six and definitely not into me treating her boobs as anything other than baby food. My ex-GF wanted to add food during 6. We used whipped cream, birthday cake, chocolate, etc. One time she used strawberry syrup and she put too much that it ended up reaching my ass. After she finished the blowthrob I tried to stand up and my ass cheeks were stuck together from that dried syrup. Couldn't walk straight for a while after it. Pegged a guy and kept getting hit with his stank booty smell. Singed my nose hairs off. Lactation. Got a raging case of mastitis because I wasn't emptying completely. Had to explain to my gynecologist and an ER physician how I. Who has never been pregnant. Managed to wind up with mastitis. You also have to. Play through the pun. And keep expressing and working past it. One of the most brutally painful weekends of my life. Pouring Hershey's syrup on my lover. Looked like literal sit. And smelt like vomit. Butyric acid. Having a threesome with a bisexual guy and my girlfriend. Thought I'd like it. But I just couldn't get hard with another dude in the room. It seriously pissed me off as well when he kissed her. I just asked him to leave and we just frocked and never spoke about it again. Feet. Long toenails cut tongues really easily. I had been brought up to abhor wastage. So I had to wash. Peel and eat the carrot after. Tried anal with then GF. 
if that even counts as a petish. Put it in. She cried and almost broke my dick by rolling over as she yelled out. We didn't use enough lube apparently. Got bound by a rope around my hands. It was okay at first but as soon as I couldn't get the rope off I started to panic. Began having a panic attack when my girlfriend tried to use her pocket knife to cut me free. Pegging. Don't get me wrong. The experience itself wasn't bad at all. I really enjoyed it, but she was convinced I was gay. And that any day I would wake up and realize that all I had wanted all my life was. Like. 80 cocks inside me. It's left me with a serious inability to open up sexually to new partners. Insecurity issues are not a fun thing, my friends. Ankle sock pettish. Got caught sniffing my GF socks and she dumped me because she was too embarrassed. The smell was cute though. Have two cocks at once. They said. It'll be fun. They said. I found out that I am not so good at receiving all that sensory information at once, p1 at a time. Put my finger up my boyfriend's ass. Was not clean. 100% would not recommend. Ever since I was a kid. I had an obsession with hypnosis and mind control. I blame Sailor Moon. After nearly a year with my ex. I finally worked up the courage to try and hypnotize her. It was embarrassingly bad. She fell asleep during the induction. I kept stuttering and sneezing. It was very clear that nothing was going on. I still figured we could make a dom sub thing out of it by giving her the order that she could not come until I saw her again next week. But she then admitted that she has a pretty low libido and she could probably go months without masturbating if she cared enough. And it all made me feel like kind of a failure. Come to think of it. There were lots and lots of things that my ex and I did that left me feeling like a failure. Kinda became a running theme. ITT. People who don't clean before anal. I've always wanted a woman to talk dirty to me in bed. One night. I finally got up the courage to ask my wife to talk dirty to me when we were making love. The first thing out of her mouth was. Babies. Killed the atmosphere. But I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. My ex-girlfriend and I were out drinking and we both got a little too drunk. Get back to my place and start fooling around she's standing against the wall and I'm kneeling with her leg over my shoulder going to town. I then get the bright idea to put her other leg over my shoulder without telling her. She loses her balance and crashes into a heater vent four hours later we're leaving the E. R with her two broken ribs and bruised arm and my broken nose. Talking dirty. Me. Oh you're bad. You're so dirty. You're a dirty. Frocker. Her. Laughs. What? Also my ex was a heavy girl. I like to eat ass. I pulled apart her mud flaps and ripped her perineum. Literally ripper her a new asshole. Nothing more awkward than going into an interview with an open lip and choke marks around your neck because you like it. A bit rough. We like it rough. We found this out over a long stretch of trying things. Anyway. It was my turn to be in charge and we went to hard to fast and some unexpected ripping and bleeding occurred. It was a very minor tear that healed on its own. The OBGYN actually chuckled with us about it when we tried to explain. This was not his first rodeo. I like to be choked. And my boyfriend always tries to be really careful while he does it. But that didn't work one time. He got a little too into it and didn't register me trying to say our safe word. So naturally. I fell unconscious. I woke up maybe 30 seconds later. With my so crying and trying to perform CPR. I'm into vor. Fantasies of being swallowed and digested alive by someone or something. Turns out it's not really possible. But I did try sticking my finger in my. Pet. Venus flytrap as a kid and it ended up dying pretty quickly. Eating a girl's ass. It was everything I'd hoped for. Tickling. I've had many great sessions. But one. It was a girl I was introducing the pettish to. She contacted me via FetLife. And we met up and started playing. I went first. Tied her up. Introduced her to the real sensations which led her to a few orgasms. My turn to feel her wrath comes along. And once I'm tied. She goes straight for the kill. Making me squirm and laugh so hard. I lost my breath so quickly. I needed more cardio. We still had fun. However. As we were play partners that whole weekend anyways. Me and the ex got a little kinky one night. Did some light bondage and I blindfolded her. Long story short is when attempting to switch positions with her not being able to see. She smashed the back of her head into the bridge of my nose and damn near K.O. 
D me. Nose was fractured and I still finished. When you look for your pettish because it's weird. And it's not here. Threads like this are why humanity needs to survive. You guys are comedy gold. My woman said she wanted to stick a finger in my ass while giving me oral. Since we did anal a few days prior. I reluctantly obliged. Nothing necessarily went wrong it was just an awkward experience. Nowadays though. I actually do enjoy it on occasion. 9 tenths would recommend. Don't be too quick to judge. It adds a whole new level of stimulation. Just make sure you both shower thoroughly beforehand. Girls in one-piece swimsuits kind of works for me. I told my GF and whilst she sometimes wears one in bed she hates me going to the swimming pool now cause of insecurity. It's a faff nd not worth as it's not even something I'm that into. FWB years ago wanted to be blindfolded. Happy to comply I frocked her hard. Until she had a panic attack and started crying because apparently the blindfold triggered a bad scuba diving memory for her. Not me but. At rugby practice we would always chat about dirty stuff while stretching and one of our mates told he he always wanted to get a golden shower. He came to practice one day with a horrified look on his face and said. Turns out I don't like golden showers. 